is part two of lesson 12.3. We're going to talk about the area of a segment of a circle. In 12.3a, we talked about the area of sectors of a circle. So if there's any of the videos you've missed, because we have seven for chapter 12 so far, just look in the description of this video. A segment of a circle is a region bounded by an arc and its chord. So that light blue area is considered a segment of the circle. And as we discussed in the previous video, a sector of a circle is a region bounded by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. So for your notes, for the area of a segment, we've got this light blue area here, which is our segment. It's going to equal the area of this sector minus the area of that triangle. Now when we're trying to find the area of the triangle, sometimes we're going to have to split the triangle in half. And I want you to remember in a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree triangle, the length of the leg opposite this 60 degree angle is square root of 3 times the length of the shorter leg. So we could find our height, it's 5 square root of 3. And that was in video 5.8b, if you missed it, there'll be a link for that too. In our last video, 12.3a, we learned to find the area of a sector using the formula a equals pi r squared times the quotient of m degrees and 360 degrees. And when we divide the measure of an arc by 360 degrees, we're actually finding the percentage of the circumference of the circle covered by the arc. So if we have a 180 degree arc here, it covers 50% or 0.5 of the circumference of a circle. We can find the area of segment ACB right here to the nearest hundredth. The first thing we do is find the area of sector ACB. So that would be this whole thing. We use our formula that the area is equal to pi radius squared times the quotient of that arc measure and 360 degrees. We can see this is 12 inches, so our radius is 12 inches. We have 12 squared, that's 144, and we have our measure 60 degrees over 360. Well, that's 1 6. We do our math and we get 144 over 6 times pi. That gives us 24 pi inches squared. And that's for the entire sector, not for this blue segment, okay? We have to find the area of this red triangle next. So we know the radius was 12 inches the formula for the area of a triangle is half times base times height. We split this into two. That means instead of this 12 inch base, we're going to have a 6 inch base, aren't we? And our height, remember, it's going to be 6 times the square root of 3, so our height right here is going to be 6 square root of 3. We do our base times our height, 6 square root of 3. And we get 36 square root of 3 inches squared. So now we know the area of the sector is 24 pi inches squared. We know the area of the triangle is 36 square root of 3 inches squared. To find the area of this blue segment, we just subtract the area of the triangle from the sector. We get this nice long decimal number, which it wanted us to round it to the nearest hundredth. So we have approximately 13.04 inches squared for that blue area, the area of the segment. Now take a look at this diagram. We have a 90 degree angle right here, don't we? So even though it's not listed, we can see that little box. We know that's a 90 degree angle. We can see the radius is 4 centimeters. And if that's 4 centimeters, then that radius is 4 centimeters, right? So that would be the height. We find the area of sector ABC, this orange area. We use our formula. We put the 90 for the M. We put 4 for our radius. We have 4 squared. That's a 16. 
90 over 360 is 1 fourth. We can reduce it with the 4 and we get 4 pi centimeters squared. Now we need to find the area of triangle ABC. We know that this is 4 centimeters and this is the radius and the height, isn't it? That's 4 centimeters. So half times base times height would be half times 4 times 4. That would be 8 centimeters squared. If we want to find the area of the sector, we just need to subtract this from this. We know the area of the sector is 4 pi. We know the area of the triangle is 8. We do our subtraction. We get this nice long decimal, and it comes out that the area of the segment is approximately 4.57 centimeters squared. Now you're going to come across some problems uh, where there's not going to be a height, and all you have is a side and an included angle and a side. And if you go back to video 10.3b, that was for finding area of a triangle using trigonometric ratios when we have a side included angle and side, SAS, but no height. So that might help you if you don't remember how to do that. Now we talked about arc length a little bit in 12.3a. We're going to go over it again in the third part of 12.3, 12.3c, and then we're going to talk about measuring angles and radians in 12.3d. So now you can try finding the area of a segment of a circle on your own, and I hope my explanation was good enough so that you can do it on your own, and I'll see you for the third part of this lesson, and have a great day. Bye.